G'day again guys. Okay, you've just watched the basic vector movement video and you've seen it and you're saying to yourself, wow, that was just amazing, but it wasn't quite amazing enough, uh, mainly because uh, you might have noticed in the rules that sometimes vehicle facing is important. Uh, let's just say, for instance, you've got weapons mounted on the front of your vehicle and you can only fire to the vehicle's forward arc. Uh, that means that it's important to know which direction your vehicle's facing. Uh, as well uh, for armor, some vehicles have like they might have more armor on the front. Um, so if your vehicle gets attacked, it's important to know which direction it's facing, so you know which uh, side of your vehicle's uh, like armor that you need to apply to that attack. So, so and you might and you would have noticed too in the last video that we didn't uh, like it showed the, how to move your figures around on the map, but it didn't really show what direction it would be facing at the end of its movement. So in the last video, it's good for things like characters in grav belts or hovering robots, but but not as good for things like grav bikes or things like that. So so in this video, what we're going to do is we're just looking at the same movement system, but we're just adding one small feature that will help us to determine what direction our vehicle is facing. Okay, now uh, here we've got a grav bike. And up here we have our vector token. Again, the vector token represents where our vehicle is going to be this turn unless we change direction or we brake or accelerate or something like that. And I guess the, the main difference is, okay, now according to the previous video, if we want to change direction, we would actually move this token. But this time, instead of just moving it, what we're going to do is we're going to measure where we'd like it to... Um, be this turn. So let's just say we'd like to be here and we're going to put what's called a nav token down on that spot. Now a nav token for all intents and purposes operates in exactly the same fashion as a as a vector token but uh, it's it's different so and you'll see why it needs to be different in just a minute. But once we put down a, a nav token we then put down a vector token uh, again, we put it down in the same way, so 30, so we need to measure at 60, that's where it is. Okay, so we're all good. And again, as per the previous video, you'll know that we then move our trusty hero up to the nav token, and we'll delete it, and Bob's your uncle. But you'll notice that we've still got two vector tokens on the table. Now, let's just assume for a moment that our vehicle is traveling in a vacuum, and in zero gravity, it's flying across the face of a moon, maybe, or, or off in outer space. And to change direction, the vehicle actually has to uh, swing itself around and burn thrusters uh, in a certain direction in order to change direction. So uh, what we do then is we turn the rear of the vehicle to face our old vector token. Um, to get the angle right, you might have to hold down the Alt key before you take your finger off the mouse button. And there you go, and then you can delete it. Um, now that might look a little bit weird, but um, because basically what we've got here is that we're traveling in this direction, but our vehicle is actually facing down to the south in that direction. Uh, but if you've ever played the 1979 arcade game Asteroids, uh, you'll understand this concept. Or maybe if you've um, watched Battlestar Galactica, you see the Vipers swinging around and burning their thrusters and odd directions to change directions. So, so this is really all about Newtonian physics. It's not much like Star Wars, but it's more like real life. Um, now, if, for instance, the vehicle is more of a ground vehicle, so it's actually using traction to change direction, uh, or if it's got wings and it's using, you know, basically uh, things like that to change direction, then it, it's a lot, whole lot easier. All, all you'd really need to do is just swing the front of your vehicle to face towards the um, future vector token, and that, and that really should do you. Um, so again, the, the direction that your vehicle is facing really does depend a lot on uh, how your vehicle changes direction. I'd say if it's a grav bike or a grav tank or something like that, it'd use that first method. But if it's more using wings or traction, like a like a just a normal motorbike or um, car or something like that, then you just point the front of the vehicle towards your future nav token. Okay, well, I hope that wasn't too complicated. Um, again, it's pretty simple once you get your head around it. Uh, I just thought it would be a cool way to just add a little bit of detail to our Traveler games. I'll make it a bit more realistic, a bit more immersive, uh, a bit more fun to play. Um, keen to hear your feedback, or if you've got any questions about it, just uh, post them on the forum. Cheers.